Hello, Moton Geography is back with more. More what, might you ask? Today, we will dive into the geography of a small Balkan nation in Eastern Europe, Albania. But before we start, let's review the answer to last video's trivia question. Algeria Geography's trivia question was, "How long is the term of the Algerian president?" We will now reveal the answer. Five years. That's right. The Algerian president, who is currently Abdelaziz Bouteflika, has a term of five years. Well, anyway, let's get back to Albania. Of course, let's start with the basics. Albania is a small nation in Eastern Europe, which occupies much of the Balkan coastline with the Adriatic and Ionian seas. The land is primarily mountains and lowlands, with many waterways. The coastal plains of Albania, otherwise known as the Western Lowlands, are split into two chief regions: the Adriatic coast and the Ionian coast. These two coasts span the entire western border Albania has with the Mediterranean. Apart from the mainland, Albania also consists of many tiny islands, of which close to none are populated. The further inland regions of Albania are predominantly mountain-covered. Northern Albania contains the Albanian Alps, which are the most southerly section of the Dinaric Alps, a mountain range that covers much of southeastern Europe. Mid-eastern Albania consists of the Corb Mountains, which covers much of the land along the borders between Albania, Macedonia, and Kosovo. Southwestern Albania is concealed by much of the Saronian Mountains, while southeastern Albania holds the Pindus Mountains. As in 2016, Albania had an estimated population of 2.876 million people, much of which is concentrated in midwest Albania. The area of Albania is about eleven thousand one hundred miles, or twenty-eight thousand seven hundred forty-eight kilometers. Tirana, the capital and the most populous Albanian city, sits in central Albania along the Tirana and Lane rivers. To wrap up the basic facts, let's review the flag of Albania, otherwise known as the Flamuri Kombatar. This flag consists of a red background, and in the center, a double-headed black eagle. The eagle originates from the banner of the Byzantine Empire, and over time gained the respect as an Albanian national symbol. The eagle has more of a meaning of identity, symbolizing the country's Balkan culture and location. The red of the background represents bravery, strength, and valor. The official language in Albania is Albanian. Albanian could be split into two dialects. Tos, which is spoken in the south, and Geg, which is spoken in the north. Albanians tend to be multilingual. In addition to Albanian, many Albanians also speak Greek, English, and Italian. The minority languages include Aromanian, Serbian, Macedonian, Bosnian, Bulgarian, Gorani, and Roma. The main religion in Albania is Islam. Which approximately fifty percent of Albanians affiliate with. The second most practiced religion in Albania is Christianity. There is also a significant amount of non-religious people in Albania. Albanian education is well established as a successful institution. The literacy rate in Albania is ninety-eight point seven percent, qualifying Albania as the twenty-fifth most literate country. Finally. Albanian is the most populous ethnic group in Albania. The country recognizes nine minority groups: Aromanians, Balkan Egyptians, Greeks, Bulgarians, Bosniaks, Macedonians, Montenegrins, Serbs, and Roma. Albania has a lot of mountains, and when I say a lot. I mean, seventy percent of the country's entire terrain is mountainous. The mountains, particularly, occupy eastern Albania, being the part of the country focused more inland and away from the lowlands near the sea. The Albanian Alps, otherwise known as Proklatiji, dominate much of northeastern Albania. As mentioned before, 
This mountain range is an extension of the Dinaric Alps. The Albanian Alps extend east from Lake Shkoder at the border with Montenegro until hitting the most northerly parts of the Korb Mountains in northeast Albania. The Albanian Alps contains peaks that exceed 8,800 feet, such as Maja Jezers, the tallest mountain in the entire Dinaric Alps and the second tallest mountain in Albania. South of the Albanian Alps are the Korob Mountains. These mountains stretch south from the Albanian Alps to Lake Orid in central Albania. The highest point in Albania, Mount Korob, which hits over 9,000 feet, is located in the Korob Mountains. In southwest Albania, spanning along the Ionian coast, is the Saranian Mountains. These mountains consist of many high mountain passes. Canyons, hills, and gorges. Finally, in southeastern Albania, the Pindus Mountains can be found, a mountain range that spreads from northern Greece into the bottom of Albania. The Pindus Mountains has mountains that reach up to 8,600 feet, such as Mount Smolakos. All the mountain ranges in Albania are lush with vegetation, especially the Korob Mountains, which host many mountaintop ecosystems. The coasts of Albania are commonly known as the Western Lowlands. The Western Lowlands, as mentioned before, can be split into two differing coastal regions: the Adriatic coast and the Ionian coast. The Adriatic coast is much more flat and alluvial, meaning the land gradually sinks until reaching the sea. This coastline begins at the Gulf of Drin. And runs south to eventually end at the Karaburan Peninsula. Most of the Adriatic coast is made up of river mouths, marshes, and sandy beaches. In addition, there are many lagoons, bays, and estuaries. The coastline also hosts many important cities, such as Durres and Vlor. The land inwards of the Adriatic coast mostly consists of small plains that are used for agricultural purposes. And finally, the capital, Tirana, can be found just 40 kilometers or 24 miles from the coast. South of the Adriatic coast, beginning at the Karaburan Peninsula and ending at the border with Greece, is the Ionian coast. Although rocky in many places due to the Saranian mountains. This coastline is rich in biodiversity and vegetation. Much of the green of the Ionian coast makes up the Albanian Riviera, a section of the coast that is covered by flora. The physical Ionian coastline is made up by rocky beaches, bays, and peninsulas. Sarande is the largest city on the Ionian coastline, while there are many other historical cities such as Butrint. Albania as a whole has a total water area of forty-three thousand nine hundred and five square kilometers, or sixteen thousand nine hundred fifty-two square miles. Much of this water area is created by lakes, rivers, and lagoons. There are about two hundred forty-seven natural lakes, the most notable being the large Shkoder in the northwest, the Butrint in the southwest, the Prespa in the southeast. In the Orid in the southeast, the largest lake is Lake Shkoder, which has a total area of 370 square kilometers, or 143 square miles. The longest river in Albania is the River Drin, which has a length of 285 kilometers, or 177 miles. This river flows from the Adriatic Sea through the northern Albanian Alps east to the Korob Mountains. The only other major rivers are the Saman River, a river that flows from the Adriatic Sea east through central Albania, and the Vahosa River, a river that flows from the Adriatic Sea through the Pindus Mountains and into Greece. Much of the water in these rivers are distributed by drainage basins and snow from mountains overhead. A good portion of the water area is also created by lagoons, such as the Karavasta, Narta, and Butrint. These lagoons can be found along the coastline, although some don't physically touch the Adriatic or Ionian seas.
Overall, Albania shares a border with four countries. Almost the entire western border is along the Adriatic and Ionian seas. The northern borderline runs 186 kilometers northeast with Montenegro and 112 kilometers southeast with Kosovo. The eastern border runs 181 kilometers south with Macedonia. Finally, the southern border runs 212 miles southwest with Greece. The coasts of Albania generally maintain a cool Mediterranean climate. Meanwhile, the mountains typically have a cooler oceanic climate. Some mountainous areas in northern Albania have subarctic temperatures as the elevations rise. In general, Albania has mild winters and warm summers. The highlands of Albania experience a lot of rainfall as opposed to the western lowlands, which have lesser precipitation rates. Albania also experiences many small earthquakes, landslides, and floods, especially in the mountains. Finally, let's finish with some Albania geography trivia. And the question is... Albania was part of which empire until independence in 1912? We will reveal the answer in our next video. And Dora Geography. That's it for Albania Geography. Keep notified for more geography videos in the future.